Hey guys, today uh, we see the second chart uh, in the list of charts that we have seen yesterday. We went through the line charts. Today we'll see area charts. Yeah. We can use an area chart to find trends in data over time. It's same as line chart. Yeah, area charts are like line charts, but shade below the lines to help show the magnitude of trends, yeah? So it is same as line chart, it shows the uh, data over time, but it has shaded area where it shows the magnitude towards the trends. Now there are various area charts available. Let's have some data in place so that we see the various types of line charts that are available. I'll just remove the dollar sign so that uh, done, yeah. So that we have a clean data with numbers. So we have this data which we are going to check as area charts. Yes. Now Let's first understand what are the different types of type of area charts. So if I go to insert, I say chart. Previously, as I said, it automatically adds a chart. I will be uh, I will go to the chart type. Now let's understand the various type of charts that are available in area. Yes. So let me put an annotation. Okay. Get this area chart. Yes, so these are all area charts. There are six types of area charts that we are looking at. So the first one is the area chart, a simple area chart. Second is the stack area chart. Third is 100% stack area chart. Fourth is stepped area chart. Fifth is the stacked stepped area chart, and last is the hundred percent stacked stepped area chart. So we look into all these six of them one by one. Yeah. The options, other options are the same which we have earlier seen in the line chart. You can go back and see, refer the line chart where we looked into details about the setup and the customized options which are available. We'll not repeat this. We'll just check how to add the area charts. So I'll check the area charts. Go to the first one, that's area chart. Yes. Now when I'm talking about simple area charts, as the name suggests, it is showing me a simple line chart over the three months, Jan, Feb, March. Yes, and it is showing me the magnitude of the area because of the coloring or the shading that has happened over here. Yes, by which we are able to bifurcate the how big is the revenue as compared to expenses. Yes, so this is a simple area chart. We'll try to understand, uh, take one more data. Yes, and try to understand uh, the imports and exports of a company. Put the data here. But again, remove the dollar sign so that we are able to get the train. So again, I'll select it. I'll say insert. I'll say chart. And this time, from the column chart, rather right from the column chart, I'll select the area chart, which is again a suggested, one of the suggested charts in the suggested section. Yes, so we can do it from here or from the suggested section. So I'll do it from the suggested section. So this is how it looks like. Yes, I'll just arrange it in a proper way so that we can look at all the charts at one go. Put it here. So I remove the orange chart in between, which is not needed. 
Yes, let's look good. Yes, so these are the area charts. Well, this is how you plot it. The next thing that we looked at was the stacked area chart. So the stacked area charts <clears throat> show part to whole relationship and find trends in data over time. For example, if you show, if you have three products contributed to total sales of each month, quarter by quarter. Yeah. So that would, uh, that would be a probably a chart which we can look at. So suppose I have this data which has year 2015 where, where uh, the total students in elementary was 8,000, in middle school, uh, school was 10,000, and high school was 12,000. I want a stack chart. So if I see the total of students in 2000, 15, it was 30,000. It was in 2016, it was 31. Uh, in 2017, 35 and 37. So let's see how it could be shown in the form of a chart. So part to whole, when you are talking about, I'll say insert, I'll say ch chart once again. And I'll say it's an area chart, but I'll this time I'll make it a stacked area chart. Yes. Now you can relate your chart with the figures. So we have seen this in 2015, the total has gone to 30,000. Yes. Out of which 8,000, which is the blue one elementary one was at 8,000. Yeah. If you add 10,000 to it, it goes to 18,000, which is the orange chart. So it shows you part to the total. So out of 30,000, 8,000 was elementary, middle school, and high school. So this is the same for 2016 and 17. So this is how you show a stacked area chart. When you show a part to a whole relationship along with the trend that is happening over time. Yes. Now this same thing can be done Suppose I have a monthly budget. Yes. So, uh, suppose I have a monthly budget of around uh, uh, give me one minute. I'll replace all once again. I have to make the data consistent. So I have in January, I had spent a monthly budget of around 100. Friend is 600. Food is 300 euros. It's 500. Now, I want to see the part to whole in terms of percentage. So I go to format, insert, insert. Uh, I go to chart, and again, I'll select the chart type as 100% stacked area chart. Yeah. So it shows me 100%. It's in terms of percentages. That's what I told you. So suppose this for January, my total cost or the expenses is around 1,500. Out of 1,500, 100 is how much percentage? So it is showing me the percentage of the total of 100%. Yes. So if I see 600, 600 or 300 is 20%. Yes. So food is 20%. You can see here from 50 to 70, it's 20%. It's showing this as 20%. You can, once you take your cursor here, you can see here 20%. This is 40%. This is 6.7%. Yes. And this is 33.3%. That's your utilities are 33% of the entire 100. That is 1,500. That is, that is the total expenses. Same for February. If you go uh, for the gas, it is around 8.8%. .8%. So you see the gas, is in, uh, gas cost increasing. So the, my budget is getting increased on the gases. Whether it is getting decreased on food. My food previously was at 
20 percent whereas over year it has gone down to 14 percent so this is how you analyze your data using the stack chart of the 100 percent so that you find out what is the part to the whole and in terms of percentage this was a, it was in terms of value the previous one was in terms of value and this was in terms of percentage now say can be done for uh, the stacked area chart. Now, when I am talking about uh, stacked area chart, we can use the same data from here. So, if I use this data, I keep it here and I insert a chart, just place it properly below this. I say, give me the stack stepped area chart. So this is how it happened. So it's the same chart that we have seen above, but it shows me values in, in the form of steps. Yes. Same, same way. If you see the 100% uh, stepped area chart. So suppose I have uh, grades. Uh, from my school and I want to show a stepped stacked area chart. So I go to insert, I say chart. Again, I just place it below the chart and I say area chart, I'll change it to stack stepped area chart. So, so here, this is how it happens. So it shows that A, yes, A has for the junior, it was 18. The grade, A grade juniors were 18 and seniors were 30 who got A grade. Yes. Same B grade, there were 28 juniors who got B grade and 35 seniors who got B grade. Yes. But the total 28 plus 35, this one A who got B grade, there's 28 plus 35, that's 50 and 63. Now, if you see B, the total sums up to 63. It's above 60, so it's somewhere near 63. So this is how it happens. This is how it, did, it is calculated. Same as we did for stacked area chart. This is again the stacked stepped area chart. Yes. Similarly, if you are talking about 100% 100 stacked area chart, suppose I have uh, scores. Uh, suppose in English 1, Max 1 and History 1. In Winter, I have got 200, 300. Yes. Yes. I had an enrollment of 200, 300 and 500, which totals up to 1000. Now, if I have to do the last one, which I we have saw in the stack chart, is I'll just place this once again. I'll just scroll down. Yes. And I'll select the last one, which was the 100% stacked stepped area chart. So you see the 100% here. Yeah. Yeah. How I can evaluate? So in winter, out of this entire 100% of enrollments, 20% was for English 101. 30% was for Max 101. As you go and if you move your cursor over here, you will get it. Yes. For winter. And then for history, it is the complete 50%. So 50% to 100%. That's 50%. So history 101, there were enrollment, which is around 50% of the total enrollment that happened during winter. Same way for spring, summer, and fall. So this is how you analyze the area charts or this is how you get area charts on your uh, uh, on your uh, data you can edit the chart once again yeah and you can customize or set up do the setup as we did for the line chart so do uh, uh, review the line charts uh, system and customize options so that you can make the changes for area charts as well thank you so much